It is impossible to overstate the importance of your smile. First impressions, confidence. How about eating the food you love? That's important too, and it involves freedom mini dental implants. I love talking to Dr. Reagan Ackerman because I do think your smile is important, not just from a cosmetic reason, not just from a nutritional reason, being able to eat the food you love. There's many reasons, yes, right? <laughs> yeah, it's not just aesthetics, it's function too. Yep. I have so many patients that come in my office, they hate their dentures. Um, a lot of them, especially that lower denture, I always say they wear it in their pocket. Um, they pull it out of their pocket and they're like, here's my lower denture, I never wear it because it just flops around. And that's where the mini implants can really help people. Um, it's a lot less invasive procedure, usually a lot less costly than the surgical implants. Um, but we can do a snap in denture or permanent teeth and get, you know, get rid of the denture or get rid of all the denture glue that people are struggling with. Yeah, for folks who have not seen Dr. Ackerman on the show before, Freedom Mini Dental Implants, that's, you said it right there, that was a nice little nutshell uh, explanation of what she does because what it boils down to is maybe in the past you were told, well, you're not right for, for implants because of all of this surgery and you don't have enough bone and all these things. Well, this is the evolvement of implants. It is totally different if you haven't heard about it. Now, it's not a new procedure. I wouldn't think it would classify, but for some it may be a new procedure, exactly. right? Yeah. So many people have been wearing dentures for 10 plus years and they've been struggling with their dentures. And yes, they may have been told they weren't a candidate for the big surgical implants. They didn't have enough bone, um, but you know, things have advanced and we have these mini implants now, which is just a small diameter implant. So a lot of people, if you haven't been to a dentist in a while, you know, please call it's a free consultation with me. We'll take a 3D x-ray, make sure you have enough bone and that you're a candidate for the mini implants. So yeah, you know, if you haven't been to a dentist in a while, but uh, you know, these mini implants have been around for 10 plus years. So, you know, it may be new to you, but it's not new technology. It's just a less invasive way of doing implants. Yeah, I get, I get excited about this because I've seen so many of your, of your patients, they later probably become friends and it changes their life because when you think about your smile, if you have a confident smile, you're, you're open to going to events. You feel good about things. You're open to being in photographs. Can you imagine not feeling good about your smile? You've talked to those people. You see them often. It, it, this is really, truly, I don't think it's overstating it. It's life-changing. No, it's, it's so many people come in struggling and they're embarrassed. They're self-conscious. Um, they're no longer going out to eat with friends and family anymore or the family functions because um, they know when they go to a restaurant, they can't choose things off the menu or they have to excuse themselves um, to rinse their denture out and reapply the glue and all those frustrations so you know and you're right my patients become family because it's life-changing and it's so fun to hear you know the first foods that they ate that they didn't eat before you know the crunch of a pretzel or to eat a steak again um, it's very life-changing for people Okay, now usually you come in here and you show me, a, there's an example of someone, yes, a yes, client yes. that you get to meet and you see the before and after. And I love these yes. pictures because watch how much younger they look. Okay, he or she, who we have today? So today is Rory and he's actually a good example. Um, he had great personality, like you can just see Rory exudes confidence and just a a big personality and loved him to death. Um, but he had struggled just like so many people trying to maintain his existing teeth. You can kind of see, you know, teeth were discolored, different sizes. He had tried bonding, all kinds of different things to try to save his teeth. Um, but his teeth were failing on him and he knew he needed to have them removed and kind of start over. So we did snap in dentures for Rory and changed his, his smile. He said he wanted him to be the whitest, brightest smile, he, you know, we had. So we went with nice white teeth for him and he's if you knew Rory I mean this is definitely a patient that became a friend of ours um, he's just a big personality and such a good guy and deserved that big pretty smile and I think we were fortunate enough to, to give that to him um, and he's got you know snap and denture so he doesn't have to use denture glue he's still able to eat what he wants to eat um, and doesn't have to worry about his teeth breaking down constantly on them, going to the dentist for fillings, root canals, extractions all the time. So Rory sounds like a guy who's maybe a bit of an exception in the fact that he didn't lack confidence. He was confident. Yes. But you said yes. he, he got the smile that he deserved. He yes. received that smile that he really fit his personality. Yes. Yeah, and he was just, I see so many people that are frustrated because they've been trying to save their teeth. They go to the dentist all the time, um, but they're constantly, you know, getting cavities or fractured teeth. And, you know, to no fault of their own, they're, do, they're doing what they 
they can. And some people, that's just, you know, the teeth fail on them. And you do get in a situation where you have to have all your teeth removed. And regular dentures are not a fun thing. Nobody likes regular dentures. So that's where the mini implants come in, where we can, you know, do a snap in denture, make that denture a lot more stable, no more denture glue, or get rid of the denture completely, which I know we'll show the models later, but where you can get rid of the denture completely and have permanent teeth. 571-5263. Perhaps you're wondering if you or a loved one is a candidate for Freedom Mini Dental Implants. I'm telling you, you probably are. In fact, let's go ahead and cut to the chase. How often do you tell someone, you have a lot of clients who come in and they say, am I a candidate? How often is it a no? It is pretty rare, and I'm not exaggerating. You know, I would say like less than 5% of the people that come into my office, I have to tell them they're no longer a candidate. Um, you know, when you come in for the consultation, like I said, it's no charge. We take a three 3D x-ray and confirm that you do have enough bone. And I always say, I don't need a lot of bone, I just need some bone. Um, and I know we'll show the model later, but it's just, a, it's a smaller diameter implant. So I don't have to do bone grafting. I don't have to do sinus lifts, no incisions or stitches. So a lot of people that weren't candidates for the big surgical implants can be a candidate for the mini implant. Okay, so this is similar to, and we've used this analogy before, but if back in the old days, if you had an, an appendicitis and you had to get your appendix removed, it was this big, long surgery, big scar, it was a long procedure, a lot of healing time. Okay, now they do it with a little laser. So it, that's kind of what you Very do. You, it's evolved. Yes. Things are different, and, yes. it, and it takes less. There's less recovery. It's less cost. There's, yes. I mean, if you check the boxes, you, you'd have to look long and hard to find any negatives. Uh, are there any yes. negatives? Yes. Yeah. And, I mean, I have patients all the time. I had a patient uh, yesterday in a consultation said, you know, if I was your father, what would you recommend for me? And I definitely said, hands down, the mini implants. I've seen the surgical method. It's a long process. Um, you know, there's stitches involved, a lot of healing. And, you know, I've, I've done them on my own family members, you know, so I definitely highly recommend the mini implants. Yeah, Freedom Mini Dental Implants, okay, and, and I've mentioned all of the positives. And, and one of them is every one has a budget okay you know you, you know you want your smile you want to feel confident you want to be able to eat the food you love but you have a budget this is what's great now I know it's hard to get specific but we have this question a lot is how yes. much does it cost and I know it's individual so you'd have to see you know the x-rays what they need Certainly. but generally how much less yeah so on average especially for a single uh, you know tooth the surgical implant you know a lot of times that can run four to six thousand dollars a tooth um, so with the mini Ooh. implant, I mean, we're usually about a third to half the cost of a surgical implant, you know, and we don't, I know we've talked a lot about dentures and replacing all your teeth, but we do do single teeth. You know, we replace one tooth, or if you're missing um, two or three molars in the back, we replace two or three teeth. So it doesn't have to be a whole mouth. Um, but yeah, we're usually about a third to half the cost of the surgical implants. And we do offer financing plans because it still can be an investment, but there's definitely financing options. And sometimes there are some no interest options with that. Yeah, what a gift to give someone, Dr. Ackerman, if, if you said, you know, I'm going to allow you to throw away your dentures, get rid of the glue, throw away your dentures, and you can have the brightest, whitest smile, whatever you'd like, and you can make that happen. Does, it, does that ever happen? Does someone ever do that as a gift to their dad or their mom and say, I want to take care of you? We do. We see it. <laughs> family members all the time help other family members get in a better situation. Um, so definitely. Um, we've actually recently even had some employers help out some of their employees because, you know, it's something they use every day. It's like a car. You need it to go to work. You need it to drive. You need your teeth to eat and for nutrition and function. Um, so yeah, we have lots of people, family members help them with finances or you know, even employee, employers. All right, well the phone lines are open, 571-5263. If you have a question, a loved one, you, perhaps you wanna see, are you a candidate? Maybe you have a question about, maybe you have a special medical condition and you're saying, do I, do I still qualify? Give us a call, Dr. Ackerman will field those calls. And again, throw away the dentures, Freedom Mini Dental Implants. Coming up also, we'll show you some of the models and exactly what the procedure looks like next on Wave 3 Listens Live.
Freedom Mini Dental Implants. This is Dr. Reagan Ackerman. The phone lines are open to you, 571-5263, and we have one. Mishan has been listening to the show. Mishan, thank you for listening. You have a question for Dr. Ackerman. Hello. Hello, hello. Okay. We may move on. Maybe okay. we'll try to yeah. fix that connection there. Model. Yeah, don't forget, turn down your television because uh, you're going to be talking directly to us. There's a little bit of a delay. Okay, let's let's show a model. Let's okay. pick a, okay, I like the procedure where it's 100% your teeth. The, the, the third denture. set of teeth. No plastic, okay. no nothing. Show me how it works. Okay, so this is the best procedure we do. So that, that's your mouth. Yes, so get rid of the denture completely. So this model kind of shows how we place the implants. Um, so, you know, these would be your gums. And when I place these implants, I'm not making any incisions or stitches. I'm just numbing you up with a little local anesthetic, okay? And then we place these implants and then you're able to get rid of the denture completely. So it's just a bridge of porcelain teeth, no more plastic on the roof of your mouth, um, a lot less bulky, you get to taste your food again. So these teeth will get cemented permanently onto the implants. Okay, so then you can see, like I said, nothing on the roof of your mouth. You get to taste your food again, no plastic, no bulky denture. And just like you said, this is kind of the closest thing to getting your natural teeth back. Um, you know, it's cemented on, you know, your job is to brush it and we give you a water pick to use daily and keep it clean. But, you know, you can eat steak and all the good foods you want to eat with this. Don't have to be self-conscious about a denture. Aesthetically, very pleasing and the most functional thing we do for sure. So, and, and there's no cutting. No surgery. No surgery, no stitches. Just a little numbing of the gums, that's it. Yep, minimal healing time. You don't have to wait another six months to get your teeth. You know, usually about four or five weeks later, we've got the porcelain teeth. You'll never not be without teeth. You'll always have, you know, a temporary or a denture or something. Okay, we're gonna give this another shot here. Mishorn, welcome to the show. Are you with us? I'm here, can there you hear he me is. now? Yes. yes, we can hear you. Go ahead, please. Uh, I consider this a blessing right now because I have an appointment in two weeks. I, my question is to you, I've been doing, getting a lot, a lot of runner. Can you, I got bone missing, I got some infection look like going on. They tell me they go, I have to take my teeth out and put some in place. I wonder, can I get it all done? with you if I were to come and uh, have you look at putting implants in? Yes, great question. Um, so the only thing that we do refer out are the extractions. We still refer you to an oral surgeon for the extractions. Um, oral surgeons are great at what they do. They take out teeth all day. Um, so, but everything else, the implants, you know, the dentures or crowns, the bridges, whatever your situation may be, would be done with me. So really the only appointment that you would not have with me is getting the teeth removed. But after that, any other, you know, adjustments for a denture or bridge or after the extractions would be with me. So that's a great question, thank you. Mishorn, thank you so much for the call. Appreciate that, 5715263. Uh, a lot of questions always pertain to how much bone I have left. If, if you've been wearing dentures for quite some time, you probably have had bone loss. With that being said, could you show them the model of why you need less bone than the old surgical way? Yes, yes. certainly, yeah. I think this model speaks volumes for how the, uh, the mini implant works, which was you know, just a small diameter implant. So the little hole that's kind of hard to see, that is the hole that I have to make when I place an implant. So that's my little pilot hole. So you can see I do not have to have much bone opposed to the surgical method. You know, they place a much bigger implant. They make an incision, flap the gums open, and it usually has to heal a lot longer. So you can definitely see why a lot of people can be a candidate for the mini implant when they were told they weren't a candidate for the surgical implant or had to have a bone graft or a sinus lift. So you can just see, and that, you know, exactly why we call it a small diameter implant. So then some people who see that would say, okay, there's, there has to be a reason for that large hole. Are these still structurally sound? Yes. And they are. Yes. The yes. mini implant, it's made out of like 99.9% .9 titanium, very similar to the surgical implant, which is made out of titanium as well. Um, like I said, the, the technology has been around for 10 plus years. So I have patients that have had their uh, implants in. I saw a patient today with her lower snap indenture and hers replaced 12 years ago and still going strong. Dr. Ackerman, you just mentioned snap indenture, snap indenture. So that means no more glue, a lot less of the big bulky denture. You can shave it back. It's a lot smaller yes. show them how that model looks and how it works yep. so this is one of the most common procedures we do 
So, you know, especially if somebody comes in already with a denture, they're, you know, already healed up, um, they, they like their denture, they just want it to stay in better and not have to use denture glue. So same concept as far as placing the implants, no incisions, no stitches, you know, numbing you up just with a little local anesthetic. I do not put you to sleep, no sedation. And the nice thing about the mini implant is the same day I put these implants in, I will be able to put these attachments inside your denture and you will leave that same day with the denture snapped on to the implant. Very secure. Yes, so then you no longer have to worry about your denture flopping around. You don't have to reapply denture adhesive four or five times a day. You don't have to use the denture adhesive, the denture glue anymore. So it's, this is what we call the snap-in denture. Um, you know, definitely one of the more affordable procedures we do and most common things that we do to stabilize a denture, especially the lower denture. Like I said, that's the one everybody hates because it just flops around because your tongue's there trying to push it out. Um, so this is the snap-in denture. So the, the two methods there, you've got the, the permanent teeth that are just teeth only and then the snap-in denture, uh, cleaning for both of those. With the snap-in denture, is it basically the same as your dentures? Take them out at night or how does it work? Yeah, so you, you will wear the snap-in denture 24-7 seven, okay? So you sleep, you get to sleep in your denture, but you do remove it once a day to rinse and clean. So you'll remove it, clean your denture like you normally do. You can brush your gums around the implants and then snap that denture back in. Um, and then with the permanent teeth, it's just like having your regular teeth. You're gonna brush them, toothbrush, toothpaste, and then we give you a water pick. And, and you wanna get them cleaned every six months, just like you would your normal teeth. So you, you don't even take those out at all? No, not oh, the permanent, permanent ones. Oh, we go. Yeah. All right. They stay in. Interesting, so if you have a question, 571-5263. Thank you for joining us. Dr. Ackerman is here. She'll field the questions. Uh, so we're waiting on your calls. That comes up next on Wake 3 Listens Live. Dr. Reagan Ackerman is with me, Freedom Mini Dental Implants. So now you know a little bit of the story and the procedures. And if you have questions, she's open to that. Uh, Stacy has been nice enough to call. Stacy, from what I understand, you're a former patient. Is that right? Yes, I am. Hi, Stacy. Hi, Dr. Ackerman. <laughs> um, I just wanted to say that my biggest fear was the pain. I was so worried. I had top and bottom all implants permanent and I was so worried about the pain but it is actually true the first night was a little uncomfortable however after that I was eating everything yes. oh. <laughs> and the small staff the office everybody's so friendly welcoming and calms me down I was very nervous also 
Um, so I had a very, very good experience. Thank you so much for calling, Stacy. Can you kind of tell, because, so Stacy has the permanent teeth and how just life-changing it was, because you had dentures, like being able to taste your food and eat uh, and just. Yeah, it was pretty terrible. Yeah. And I couldn't keep the bottom ones in either. Right. So, um, yeah, it was very life-changing. I feel like I can go outside and be myself now. I um, stayed hidden for quite a while, actually. I remember that. Yes. Yeah. So you're you're getting out and being social again, right? I am. Good. The only downfall is I've gained a lot of weight, Doctor Acker. <laughs> I hear that a lot. I do. <laughs> so I'll take that as the only downfall is yeah. that you're able to That's eat and and. Only uh, thing. Yeah. No, I remember. Stacy's near to dear in my heart. I remember she was very anxious, and I think we rocked it out. We played music during her appointment. We had a lot of fun and trying to make you comfortable. So thank you so much for calling. You know, I think Thanks. that's, I'm sorry, Stacy, I interrupted, but I think that's a positive. I mean, to me, part of enjoying life is being able to eat the food you love. I think Stacy had probably deprived herself so long. Yes. So then when she goes, it's like, hey, I get to eat stuff that I really enjoy. Yes. So that'll all equal out there. And she mentioned, she said the first night she was uncomfortable. Can you imagine if Stacy had the conventional surgical method? Yes. Okay, get get ready, Stacy. You'd have been uncomfortable for quite some yeah. time. Yeah. yeah, several days up to weeks um, with incisions and stitches. So, so yeah, I mean, it's pretty, you know, we do place implants, so I always say that first 24 hours, you know, it's going to be a little uncomfortable, but we always send you home with antibiotic and pain medication and manage it. Um, you know, I had a, a patient, you know, we do do just single teeth. I did a, you know, single tooth um, yesterday and texted him today, hey, just checking in on you. And he's like, no, I'm good. No problems. No soreness. You know, good to go. Um, so, you know, when we do one or two teeth, it's, you know, usually a lot, obviously a lot less than doing a whole mouth. So, but the mini implants still a lot less post-op pain than the surgical method. So let's talk about single teeth, okay? Or maybe you have a couple of uh, your chewers in the back and you'd like to get those uh, Freedom Mini Dental Implants, you'd like to get those replaced. So let's talk about that a little bit. Um, I would think sports injuries, uh, maybe someone just had a discolored tooth, maybe it was genetic, yes. and, they're, and they're tired of it. They'd like to do something to improve themselves. You do that. If you could, show us the model and how that works. Yes, so we do just single teeth. Um, so like you said, a lot of people are missing that front tooth for whatever reason, an old sports injury, or they were born without a tooth. So same thing, place the implant the exact same way, no incisions, no stitches. Um, a lot of people that are missing a front tooth like this are wearing what's called a flipper. If you have it, you know it because it's miserable and you hate it. Um, so the day I place this implant, I will put a temporary on there and you will get rid of the flipper that day, okay? And then a couple weeks later, the nice pretty porcelain tooth will be ready. And then next appointment, don't even have to get you numb. We take the temporary off and then that permanent tooth gets cemented on to the mini implant. So it's cemented on permanently. Nothing comes in and out. You get rid of that flipper or partial that you may have been wearing. Um, same concept in the back or any area if you're missing you know, two or three teeth. A lot of people are missing their molars and they miss chewing on those back teeth. Um, you know, a lot of times when you're missing these molars, it makes your front teeth break down. So it's really important to replace these back teeth. Um, same concept, place the implants the exact same way, but we'll just place more implants. And then we have the teeth made and they are splinted together for strength. And then they get cemented on permanently onto those implants. And then you no longer have to wear a partial and you're able to chew better. And it's, you know, I've, I've had a patient tell me it was like growing her teeth back. <laughs> Interesting. So I, I'm going to ask you from both sides of the coin here. So, okay, first of all, what is the thing that inspires people most to finally make that decision and go into Freedom Mini dental implants? Is it is it they're tired of the glue, tired of ill-fitting dentures? Is it they don't enjoy the, the foods that they love? Is it that they want to get their confidence back? What's number one? I would say tired of the denture glue and not being able to wear, especially a lower denture. Um, tired of fooling with a loose denture, a floppy denture, and using the denture glue. Um, um, and then kind of on the flip side, as far as single teeth, definitely, you know, missing that front tooth and having to have a flipper for your whole life is not fun because you can't eat with it. You can't taste your food. Um, so those are definitely the kind of most common things I see. So we, we talked about there what, what inspires them to do it. Okay, why would there be any hesitation? What? Because I want to address that as well. What would be the red flags of them saying, well, I'm not going to do it? What yeah. would that be? I mean, honestly, a lot of it is, which I think is very normal, fear and anxiety of, mm -hmm. 
you know, is this going to hurt? Like is Stacey. it going to work? Exactly. Yeah. Um, and I have so many patients, you know, once I get them numb and place an implant, I'm like, okay, that's one implant in. And they're like, oh, really? Because that, that's it? And I'm like, yeah, that's it. And so you can just see them immediately relax and like, they're like, okay, I got this. You know, I had a, a patient uh, two days ago, we did a lower denture stabilization and I was like, okay, all your implants are in. We're going to get the x-ray. And she's like, really? And I was like, really? She's like, oh, I need some cards. I'm going to tell everybody about this. And so, you know, I think fear and anxiety of the process. Um, so, so many people have had bad experiences with dental work. So if you can just, you know, give me the opportunity call do the free consultation we'll go over the process and explain everything to you yeah I, I think we've been conditioned to think that the getting in the dental chair is going to be painful yes. that's not the case with freedom mini dental implants okay before we go today we're gonna make you feel good we're gonna push you over the edge you're gonna get it done in freedom mini dental implants because we're gonna show you Rory once again yes. before and after of Rory okay proofs in the pudding right yes. there how's that smile yeah oh, <laughs> Rory's awesome um, but yeah like you said you can just see the before where he had tried everything to save the his teeth. Um, you know, he's got a nice smile. Yes, he's got a beautiful smile and a beautiful personality. He's a great person, great human being, and he deserves that nice, pretty smile. And I can't stress this enough, the consultation is free. Yes, no <laughs> charge for the consultation. All you got to do is make the phone call um, to get an appointment for the consultation. All right, so if you'd like to throw away your dentures, if you'd like to be confident about your smile and eat those foods that you love, you miss that steak, you miss those fresh veggies, you can do it with Freedom Mini Dental Implants. Coming up here, a woman with a beautiful smile. That's